Ladies and gentlemen, cooking with no waste. Solar oven. How do you build this? With all the cola you drink, recuperate all the cola cans. Once you recuperated them, you drill a hole in each cola can in the top and in the bottom. Large ones. You have basically to eliminate the inner side of the ring. Then you take some heat resistant glue, like red silicon, and glue them to each other and line them up. This is how you create a heat pipe. You have to create 15 heat pipes of 16 cola cans. If they are long beer cans, less. One pipe should be 1.5 meters tall. Then you take a plywood 5 millimeters thick, 2 meters tall, 1 meter wide and some pieces of wood and you create this box. The head pieces of wood you have to cut them with one side around it. You cut four of them. Actually two of them you put them at the head and two of them you drill holes in them to pass the cola cans. Then you put the cola cans in the holes and you create this block of cans. Once you've created the block, take black paint that's not shining, any black non shining spray paint, and you paint the cola cans to attract more heat. Once you're done, beneath the cola cans space, you put a layer of insulating something that's heat resistant, like mineral cotton, something cheap. Then you place the block of cola cans inside. Drill the two big holes for the air inlet and outlet. In the inlet hole that's on the left, you put a ventilator, something like a computer ventilator. It doesn't have to be a big thing, just to help the air start circulating. Then you take three pieces of plywood. With one you separate into the superior space. So the air that comes out in here will go out in the middle row of cola cans. The air going down here will exit in this common space and will go up again in the cola cans into the right space and back again into the cola cans into the right exit space. To create the exit spaces, you have to put two other pieces of wood in the lower separation to divide the three spaces input, recirculating and output. Once you're done, take the same red silicone and every single contact line in between the wood pieces silicone it. Silicone around the cola cans both lower and upper space so that you create a basically perfect vacuum space around the cola cans surface. Once you're done, you take the same silicone and put it on the edges, on the superior edges of the whole box on the wood. You will lay on the silicone three or four millimeters thick plexiglass, curve it according to the wood curve on the silicon and block it that way eventually you put some screws to block it. That will create in the cola cans area a perfectly sealed space. Then you drill a hole on one of the sides the same diameter as a vacuuming valve. You know the valves there on the vacuuming bags that you put the clothes in and you're gonna glue a vacuuming valve on that side. Take your vacuum cleaner and vacuum the cola cans surface. That's to stop your heat being wasted back again. This is how this cola can heater 
can work even in the winters when the water is freezing. If you have enough sun, the oven will be cooking for you. You can use the same cola can surface to heat your house. The oven. That's a magic thing. You only find it in the stories. That's almost impossible to locate it on earth. Except at the junkyard. Just go there, pick an oven. Whatever. Electric gas. Doesn't really matter. Take out all the wiring, all the pipes, all the installations. You don't really need them. You don't know what to do with them. Then drill this big hole. When you're done with the big hole, well, just take care that the door is good. Go out the back and drill a few holes that you can stick your thumb in. Their use is to let the air pass outside so that the circulated air inside the panel can find more room to go into the oven. Now from the other hole that's not ventilated, you take a heat resisting flexible pipe, you know, like the aluminum chimneys and stuff like that. Preferably heat insulated so then lose the heat and you take it from this hole to the oven hole. This is how you keep your oven hot. On the back on the panel you have to glue two pieces of guiding lumb or something. And then you have to build out of square pipes the support that you weld it or screw it to the oven. This support will help you change the altitude of the cola cans heater according to where the sun is. Let's say right now in front of the sun heat side there are some bushes. All you have to do is push it upper. If you want it to stay where you push it, on this side of the support you have to drill some small holes. You push it up above the hole, then in that hole you put a screw, a piece of wood, your finger, whatever. And it will, st it will stay on that. You need to put it lower for some reason, too windy for instance. You just take out the thing that's stopping it and you put it lower. The temperature reached by the air circulating in this cola cans even in freezing winters can be above 200 Celsius. In the summer you may reach 300 Celsius. That would keep your oven so hot that you can cook your pizzas, steak, stew, soup, fry your eggs, fry your hands, beware. That's all you need to cook clean, waste no gas, waste no electricity. And you can have a nice meal for dinner or for supper. It's useless in the mornings though. There's no way you can make breakfast. Anyway, not before 10 a.m. I wish you a happy sunny day.